hi guys good morning welcome to the vlog it's a new vlog here i am on my way to lucky i'm on my way to go get a facial because my skin has gone through it during my travels this is like two days after my travel or three days after my travel um i hope you guys enjoyed those vlogs <laughs> I, I actually have not even at this point i have not yet posted the main travel vlog i'm done editing it so i just need to export it but i have um this week i'm going to be posting the travel vlog that has the room tour um but i really hope it's received well <laughs> but anyway i am on my way right now my apartment is by 12 and this is like 11 48 and it takes like about 10 minutes to get to the location so i want to be on my way because i like to be on time you know i respect people's time um and yeah i was supposed to have this on sunday but I was too exhausted so i counseled um so let me just get on get on with it really um this is my first time having a facial uh, okay it's my second time but the first one was did not really feel like a proper facial this one is an institution so i have questions i want to ask and i hope i'll be able to film it um yeah that's basically it let's go you i tried them like once in a while okay. like when i feel that like my face is feeling too dry dry okay yeah. okay it's another day and i just received the package um my wardrobe is beginning to feel so overflowing and it rarely stays arranged every time i arrange it if i take out one thing it just everything comes crumbling down so i want i bought like storage thingies like this i never need to come in this kind of huge package so i guess it's a small study that i i thought um let me just open it first and see what it looks like in reality anyway so i bought four of this just for a start i like the colors i like that it's gray color they, but this was the only color they had if they had black i would have taken black but let me open one so i guess see so it's collapsible so this is what it looks like when it has been collapsed so i will put up one I'm very excited actually i'm trying to put my room together even my shelf i feel like it's too much it's too busy so i'm looking for like brown baskets small baskets i'll use one to store my perfume so use one for my skincare and then one for like miscellaneous so like three but i've not yet found a page that i can buy that from so this is it so i guess just pull it up There's an iron here that you have to push to the side right. Yeah, I believe so. Um Yeah. So I'll just fold. I want to use one for my jeans, one for um gowns and one for the up drawer those are them
happy okay so guys in here i'm very happy with this i also rearranged my clothes to go from my most used jacket even though i don't really wear these suits but i don't just want to fold it so that it doesn't need iron it when i need it um so this is jackets all my sets um oh sorry this is the only set here actually this is like a beach wear vibe i just hung it because i had spare hangers but these are all my shirts i have a lot of shirts guys then these are all my two pieces down to here and then these are gowns going back here um so i like that this place is open because there's no long item over here and you can see the basket i need to arrange that this is where my bed sheets towels and everything are i might need to buy one at least one for this space um this is like all my cardi sleep type thing that's my friend's stuff i think she has forgotten to carry it but all my cardi sleep supplies goes in here i have spare hangers and some tote bags and ankara things like i have some ankara things i need to sew um in here before and then i have my hair dryer here but it's very tucked in you cannot even see it if i don't show it to you but yeah i'm very happy with how this top part looks i need to deal with so i think i'll need maybe maybe i'll buy three more one for up there and one two for down here these two places um i'm not yet decided but i, I need at least three for sure um let me show you guys this side again now that i've opened my curtains <laughs> i think this is definitely better so i need at least one for this top part i'm satisfied with this i'm satisfied with this so i'm very happy actually i'll order more i still need to arrange my this is where most of my tops are i need to figure out an organization for this because it always gets messy whenever i take out one thing um this is my um delicate this here is i need to rearrange it but i don't need anything for this one you it wouldn't meant i saw these boxes are too big for these other shallow, shallow drawers but i have like all my electronics here and these are all gym wear i have a lot of gym wear actually these are all gym wear and goes down goes down but my jeans okay i also have swimwear in there to be fair but that's it guys over here let me start with this one this desk i want to get rid of this lamp i'll just find someone that might need it to give it to i'm not using it because it needs a socket and i only have two sockets in this room one in that corner where i charge my phone and one behind this drawer so i cannot use that obviously so there is no place for me to plug this i cannot start buying a million cords to connect it it's just a waste of money so i want to buy a rechargeable one i'm trying to find like a cute one that i like online but i'm not using anything i really really like so that i can get rid of this even before then i'll find someone to give it to just to clear the table because it's taking up space um i need to arrange my jewelry better and just in general arrange this place then over here is where i want to do the most work well not the most per se but you can see how i have skincare here this is a new skincare that i bought um my esthetician wants me to try um i have skincare here i have like body care and skincare there as well i want to get like baskets that i can put them in i have perfumes here and some more perfumes over there i want to get like a basket maybe either one big one or like three small ones that i can organize these things into my books i want to put them into like a hidden corner and that envelope and all of these things so that i don't like it look it's looking too messy and i'm not a fan like my headphone i need to find a space but i think this is just the best space because i use it every morning when i want to go on my walk um people came to clean my house so they turned my books this is how my books are supposed to face um all my colin hoover books um i just got this book my friend bought two so i took one from her i've always wanted to read it but i don't want to buy my money when i had um some things about it but anyway 
this is the Bukasai region before I left for my trip or while on my trip rather um, I was already enjoying it I need to get back to that there's no space for me to turn it right now to turn the books to face this way but I just need this place to be books only <laughs> I planted chips here all my sunglasses are actually here so i need to get that's why i need that basket i have not found anything i like on instagram yet so i'm still searching i might have to check aliexpress too so that's it for now but you guys will see when it is transformed hi guys good morning hold on guys I'll show you guys the new um, skincare things I I got recently. So I went for a facial. I'm sure you guys have seen that in this vlog. Um, and the lady asked me, so I told her my skin concerns, and she, the esthetician she told me a couple of things to buy. Um, and then based on the things I bought and what I already had, she gave me a new um, skincare routine for morning and night. I'm going to be doing this for like a week. Um, each day has something different. Some, you know, just she has a she has a plan anyway. So after four weeks, we go, we'll see how what the improvements are, what has happened, and then we'll take it from there. And I think I will start having like monthly facials. I don't know if I'm rich enough for that yet. <laughs> oh God, guys, I am so tired. I'm currently my exams is in like what two weeks. So I'm currently. Reading as if no, <laughs> they sent me on errand. <laughs> but I'm actually enjoying the course. I'm currently reading this like around primary health. But let me focus anyway. So I got a new, new some new skincare things, and the first thing is a new clean, uh, cleanser because one of my concerns now is that my skin is now dry. I didn't use to have dry skin. So she told me that because this cleanser, even though it says that it's from normal to oily. The one I'm, I always use, Cerave, um, the foaming cleanser that she advises it mostly for people with oily skin. Um, that if you have like normal skin, it strips you a bit more, like it's drying um, because of she mentioned some ingredients. I'm not an expert, so she advised that I use an hydrating cleanser. So um, I'm using this. I got this face fact ceramic skin barrier complex hydrating gentle cleanser. So that this is the first thing that is changing in my routine. There are some days that I'll still use this, but mostly this is what I'm going to use. So she did it in such a way that I don't have to like completely throw out my old skincare. And she's still mixing it in on some days. Um, she also mentioned that the serum I use, the Vita B serum, is a bit high. It has 10% abutin and niacinamide, something like that. That the abutin is a bit socket at the one. That the um, Abutin is too much for me, um, so that I should. She wanted me to use mandelic acid, then she thought mandelic acid might be too much uh, for my skin to start with, so she said I should buy this lactic acid. Um, but then I forgot to tell her I had a retinol that I've not used in a long time. I think I showed you guys that retinol a long time ago. Let me show you guys. So this is a very retinol. So I showed it to her in the picture that I sent her with my stuff. So she incorporated this instead into my routine because she said it's not very good for renewing your skin, blah, 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 blah. So this lactic acid is on pause for now. I will still end up using it. But for now, this is what is mostly on my um, routine and the vitamin serum on a few days of the week. Then thirdly, she believes, she does not really think that the Cosrx, um, the what's it called the moisturizer i use is really moisturizing like that this nail moving one so she wanted me to try out this face fact bright and clear face cream this is it um this has azelic acid kojic acid niacinamide tranazemic acid for better radiant skin and blah blah blah, blah. it's vegan blah blah blah, blah. I thought this container would be bigger than this. I think I'll buy more of this because I have a feeling. I just, just don't know why I have a feeling I'm going to like it. But anyway, this is now what is on my routine. Occasionally, I see there are some days I will still use the other serum um, moisturizer. But yeah, right now, this is my new moisturizer. So, four weeks later, I will see how it goes. Go back to her and let's see if there's improvements in my skin because right now, my biggest issue is. 
and my skin feels dry and it's not improving it's just staying where it was like it feels like the things i use i've gotten used to my skin or my skin i've gotten used to me so it's no longer doing anything new it's just staying as is so let's see if this helps i'm very excited to start i love that i now have a mirror right here that i can use looking at my face not before that I will not be able to see what I'm doing, but now I can. So this is, let's see what, okay. The same gel format, so nothing new here. Okay, but it's not foaming like the other one. It's just white here, a little bit, so not really foaming. Even the feeling of this is different. I don't have the smell, I'm used to my this one not having any like it's not really a strong fragrance or anything, but it does have something there. This one is just bland, like it doesn't have any smell at all, which I like. Okay. Okay. I will get my ears so. It is hydrating, like I like it's not drying out very quickly, like you're on like my Cerave. Okay, not bad. I'm going to brush my teeth and take a shower. I can't even lie. I think this, which is funny because she's the expert, but I think she knows what she's doing. Like today, all I have used is my toner and. Oh, I messed up. So, since I came back from my trip. I've been trying to clear out the small ones I took that remained so I forgot that I'm supposed to use this one and I take from this one but it's okay right now all I'm using is my toner and and this moisturizer I like the way she has mixed it up because that means my skin can rest on some days from all the active ingredients in the serum But I really like that hydrating cleanser. Like when I rinse it off in the shower, it was like my face did not feel squeaky clean, which honestly I like that, but it's not the best for your skin. hi guys good morning good morning good morning good morning i have been reading for my exams my exams is so close yet so far but that will not stop me from living my life <laughs> i'm the kind of person that when i have something in my head i have to do it so that i can get it out of my head um a second so i can get it out of my head um anyway Today is exciting because I am going to start driving school. Well, I don't know if I'm driving today, per se, but I'm going to make inquiries, ask questions, and make payments for it. Um, this is a case of a man buying a wallet in faith that money will come into the wallet. So take what you will, <laughs> what you will from that. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way. Oh, screw, screw, screw. I've always wanted to drive. Like I've tried a couple of times. My dad has tried to teach me a couple of times. Um, and it was fine. But you know, something that you don't do continuously, um, you cannot really master it. So now there's an opportunity to master it. So why not? If not, get yeah, what I'm saying. <laughs> what was wrong with you today? Um, but anyway. Let me be on my way. Adios.
You guys, I am back. Look at how rough my hair is. Outside was the ghetto. Look at these glasses. I think my eye is turning from hunger. <laughs> I'm not eating since morning. And this is all the time. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought? This is past one. I was planning to stay till 12 before I eat. But I had like the theory lessons at the driving school. So tomorrow I will start to get on the road. Driving. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, anyway, I stopped at the supermarket after my lesson and. Bought some tanks that I want to. I've never bought cocoa pops in the big container, but maybe I should have just bought the hundred. I don't know if I should say hundred general, but I just wanted something because it's not like it's something I reach for often. So I wanted it in bulk, but that's smart. Maybe not. But I've already done it. So what can I do? Anyway, what else? I'm so hungry. I have food coming, but. I, I can never go to that supermarket without buying their sandwich and now their burrito is my second favorite thing actually let me take a bite of this because my eyes actually turn in extra parts guys so good i got sandwich and burrito drinks i got my normal five alive that i like and yes, berry blasts i think i've not tried before i've tried cranberry before but i've not tried this particular ocean spray cranberry juice cocktail i want to try it. i have a reason why i, I want to try it i'll tell you guys in coming vlogs for some reason i saw this skinny she and it's looking so good so i decided to get one and keep us snacks i got brown sugar got brown sugar for the same reason i got the cranberry juice oh i finally got spaghetti this spoon for packing pasta spaghetti i'm always struggling so i finally bought one of these I'm very happy um i got a barbecue spice and paprika spice and i bought this because i got um chicken wings so i want to grill it and finally i got for snacks this is it i'm sure this is for children to be fair but i like it it gives custard even though it's the color you got but I bought the blueberry and strawberry. I think I really enjoyed both last time, so I got so of those. And that is all. That's all I got. Hi guys, good morning. I am on my way to the driving school. It's 30 minutes, so I just want to do it and be done with it for today. Um, it's currently, what's the time? 
um nine minutes past nine i'm aiming that we there by i'll definitely be there before 9 30 but i want to get the 9 30 slot so that by 10 o'clock i'm done because i have a meeting by 11 o'clock ish so <clears throat> but yeah it looks simple i want a cap i don't want to bother with wigs so i can focus and yeah put on my sunscreen and i am off i just finished vexing a little bit <laughs> Me that I, I came early so that I can start by 9 30. This is almost 10 o'clock, if not 10 o'clock, and we are just starting. And they were about to take someone for one hour before me. Thank God I spoke up. Nigeria. Is that with my soul? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's see how it goes. He's trying to put on the learning um, label. And then I would start. I'm actually quite excited. I don't know why I'm not scared. I, I thought I'll be more apprehensive than this, but I'm not. I don't know if I'll be able to film on this because I'll be focused. Day one.
Hi guys, good morning. This is not streets. Okay, I think that's better. Anyway, guys, good morning. Um I've been having my leftover pasta. Oh my god. You guys, if you don't try any other thing that I cook in this my kitchen because I'm an amateur cook. Try this creamy pasta that I made. And it was so simple and easy to make. You just need minced on well maybe not minced meat. Mine was what's it called? Stripped. The ones they cut into like lines. I chopped it up. You need that. You need um cooking cream. This is the first time I'm using cooking cream for anything. You need what else? Your spices, that's all. You don't even need to use anything, any lush spice. Like the recipe I watched, they use bas basil, basil, whatever. They use parsley. I don't use any of those things and it is so good i've tried cream pasta before but i do not like it so i completely like dismissed it down i'm not ever going to order cream pasta again because the one i had i did not enjoy it but someone was telling me that the cream pasta i had was actually a good one because they also had it that is considered a good cream pasta so i was like what could be missing that did not make me enjoy the meal and i realized that it was pepe i'm a pepe girl like it doesn't have to be oh but i need to feel a kick and it needs to be seasoned. I feel like the one I ate was a bit bland. So I added maggi to mine. And it's good. Like, really, really good. Uh, I also used um, Frank's um, sausages. What's it called? Yeah. Honestly, I finished all the leftovers. I plan on having it for the rest of the day, but it's so good. I use paprika as well. The flavor is really, really good. Honestly, I'm not mad at it at all. I make make sure to use garlic. The garlic is very important for this recipe. Fried it in with the onions and it was yeah. I could I you know when you start cooking at some point you can just tell that this is going to be a great meal. I knew when I added my garlic that this was going to be a great meal, and I poured in that um, heavy cream. I was like, yeah, this is going to hit. It's so good. Um, anyway, I just finished speaking with my driving school instructor. Apparently, now that I decided to learn how to drive, they've increased. I'm sure you guys have heard the news in Nigeria. Fuel prices have gone up. People were paying 600 and something. Now they've increased it to 800 and something. People are not even selling it at 800 and something. They're selling it as 1,000 plus. Black market is like 1,4. So they were asking, soliciting for, you know, for me to complement the price, increase the price. And this thing has been bothering me because now when i wake up i keep thinking how do i fit in driving school into my day and i know before i was saying oh exams should not let me stop me from living my life but honestly stopping me i can't even lie because i have a lot to cover i'm so happy i finished one course i've started the next one um even though occasionally i'm mixing other courses so i'm not just focusing on one course so that i'm well-rounded but as so i told him okay because I felt the price was extra, but he he did explain it to me, broke it down for me how we do how they are calculating it and what all, all that. um and it was very nice and patient. So I was like, okay, no problem. I'm having exams right now in, in the next two weeks. Let me be done with that. If the prices have come down, wonderful. If they've not come down, I'll pay whatever it is you guys are asking us to, um, asking me to add. And it was like, okay, it's fine with that. So right now, driving school is on pause. I'm just going to continue enjoy because every time I. I want to go and drive. Oh, there's no fuel. Oh, there's no fuel. Like, literally, right now, he's saying that all the filling sessions are not selling because they've heard that the price will increase more. So, yeah, hoarding their fuel so that the price, when the prices increase, they have more to sell at a higher price. Nigeria is like. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just thank God for helping me because I don't know. When I see people complaining online on, on how Nigeria is difficult, I kind of get it because we did 100k prepared light. I know that might sound a bit exorbitant, but we like doing things in bulk so that we don't have to worry for a long time. 100k of light finished in, I believe, two weeks or a week, if I'm not mistaken. Even though, to be fair, we found out that. Um, the water heater takes a lot of power we we did not know that so now we have we only only don't want to use it 
before it was always on drought i don't know why we even did that it's not like it was intentional we just don't remember to even off it but now <laughs> we are not playing so we loaded another double of that <laughs> even as i'm saying this i'm kind of feeling like people might be like ah this is a lot but my philosophy is do it and forget about it for a long time you see that's why that's why i like our gas if i if we do our gas if i do pay money for gas this month i know for the next two months i'm not paying for gas but again that's because of our lifestyle we don't cook a lot i know for, for some people it's be different so depending on what your lifestyle is just bulk it do it that it's going to be painful when you're transferring it but do, like i just like to forget about things for a period of time so that i can schedule it into like two after two months i don't know that okay you should be finishing so let's budget for this so that's how i rule i think about like recurring expenses i like to do things in bulk that's my preference the same thing with data i prefer to do instead of doing 10k 40 gig i'll do 20k i know that okay to take me for more than or at least a month because i use data a lot i watch youtube i mean i watch netflix so i'm always on the internet so i use data a lot i'm working online remotely i need data so just do it in bulk and forget about it my office gives me data but honestly 40 gig doesn't do anything for me i can finish this in literally three days that's or maybe i'm exaggerating maybe a week i can finish 40 gig it might not be exaggerating more. let's just say i'm exaggerating okay i'm going to finish this and then go and read i think this is the end of this vlog i don't know if anything will be happening for a long time because in nigeria now or lagos if you step outside you spend 5k if we are taking if somewhere you're, you're taking uber to you're spending 10k like for everything so me i'm going on this period I don't have any concern there. My hands are not there. Anyway, I wish everybody good luck. I hope everybody is surviving and trying, trusting God. Because honestly, it's only God that is helping somebody. Anybody that you see and you think, oh, this person knows better than allow you. You don't know what's in the person's pocket or how the, what the person is going through. It might not even be the person themselves. It could be family. It could be, you know, loved ones, their children that, you know, might be taking the money. So let's just give everybody grace um grace nigeria is really hard and um, i hope it's not hard for you and your family Sha. i hope everything goes capacitically for you bye